right, here we are at the uh, Mooseland gold mine site, the abandoned mine site. Um, this site uh, was active uh, for many years through different uh, prospectors and companies and mining companies, but the most recent was it was picked up by a uh, NS Gold Corporation in about 2002, 2003, and they worked the site here till about 2008, 2009, started struggling by about 2010 and were shutting down. They had it up for bids and sort of like stock options in 2011, 2012, and sort of things just went quiet after 2013 out here for, for forever. So this is the way it sits. Of course, we're met with a uh, typical chained gate to the entrance off the road. We'll have a look in here today. There is uh, allegedly a, a very big shaft and a, uh, an open adit portal uh, that's here that was used. So let's go in and have a look. And as you're coming in, this is what you see. First thing catches your eye. All, of course, the shrubbery starting to take over where it used to be open land, but uh, there are the structures. There's some uh, steel buildings, as well as, of course, what looks to be the shaft tower, elevator tower. Let's go. So here is the Azure, Azure, I hope I'm saying it correctly, Azure, Azure portal. Unfortunately, completely flooded, which is amazing for how uh, high in elevation this site is compared to brook, river, and sea level. But as you can see, the, uh, the portal is uh, literally underwater at this point, filled right to the top. So there's uh, some strapping you can see that would have held the, uh, the collar back all around there but yeah unfortunately this one is a bust a complete abandoned mine site which showed some hope but unfortunately nature has taken its course here at the portal Of course, there's big fields of uh, waste piles, waste rock here, going off into the distance. And this just goes on forever. It's amazing how much material they actually took out of this mine. But there's still scattered remnants of old buildings. This one looked to be a pump house or an electrical hut or something. Uh, just left abandoned, completely empty, nothing in there. Big concrete slabs out here. Like I say, mixed buildings. These metal uh, quick construct buildings. If you look closely in here, it's all drill samples. Drill samples. Miles and miles of drill samples. And they just go on and on in there. 
racked up in these uh, stacked shelves. Over here to the side of the metal structure are all these white boxes all covered in tarps and so on. They're all full of little packages. If you look closely, of course it was Nova Scotia Gold Corporation. That was the company that started here in about 2002. They seem to be little barcoded bags of uh, crushed material, probably the, uh, the drill samples for assaying. Uh, it says assay right there. we go. More assay. Again, it just feels like a plastic bag full of sand. So, man, it goes on forever here. And the other structures from another angle, and of course there is the, the big shaft elevator tower over there in that structure. Let's go take a look. The structure here is, uh, is locked up, the doors are welded shut, although this one does have a break in it and you can peek inside through a little half foot hole crack. And it's basically full of uh, drill core samples just like, uh, just like over there where we were before. If we go in here, the old central power boxes for, the, uh, for probably the uh, elevator and the pumps and so on. In buckets and buckets of uh, water treatment chemical. Karis 3050, water treatment chemical. Lots of garbage. You know, that's not surprising. They just abandoned and left town, so, you know, leave it for someone else to clean up. And if we come over here to the left of the, uh, the elevator shaft, sorry, the shaft elevator, and there's the tower going up. Um, if you peek over the ledge here, you'd think, well, the shaft has been covered by these steel plates and there's some uh, railroad tie type woodwork over there. There is this hatch. Now the hatch has a crack here and you can look down the shaft, but there's no way to get a person through there and it is full of water. We'll take a peek in a second. You can't open this hatch because of course very responsibly they welded it shut all the way along the edge. So you can't just lift the hatch anymore for good safety reasons obviously, snoops like us. Um, here it looks like the, uh, the piping for the pumps to take the, uh, draw the water up from the bottom of the shaft and keep it uh, water free. All right, we've got the flashlight. Let's take a peek down the shaft. If you look down in here, you'll see there's the pipes going down that we just saw, and they plunk right into the water. There's some ladders, and you can't see without the human eye. The camera won't pick it up, but there are other ladders you can see going down through the water. Um, and it did meet from the, uh, the slope and the adit over at the uh, flooded portal that we saw. They met down below. But um, yeah, they would crank uh, elevator stuff up and down through here, men and equipment, and I'm assuming uh, material as well, possibly, so. And it looks like some previous explorers put a ladder up the one that was ripped off the tower to get up onto the roof and from the roof you can get up to the top of the tower via the remaining part of the ladder. Are we gonna do that? No frickin' way. <laughs> no frickin' way. <laughs> 